Hey friends, it's Tuesday Inspiration with Toby. My name is Oluwa Toby Olarindi. So good to connect with you the first Tuesday in March. And of course, happy new month to everybody. I start up with a Swahili proverb, which states that patience attracts happiness. It brings near that which is far. Now, that takes me to today's topic, which is patience is virtue. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I mean, I just want to talk about this and you know make you understand what it really means to have patience so many of us just use these words you know ah, be patient i'll be with you just be patient uh, i'll do this for you be patient and all of that but nobody sometimes or in most cases really understands what patience is when they're in the face of so much trouble and they need to you know get things done have you also noticed that commonly used words are not expressly understood? So many of us just use some words, you know, and we really do not understand what it means to be, for example, happy. Oh, are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. Are you fine? Yes, I'm fine. Are you somebody who is uh, making it? Yes, I'm making it. You know, we just begin to use some common words because we want to satisfy one, maybe ourselves, or we want to satisfy the person asking, or we want to satisfy our community. Or in Africa, you know, they told us that so as men, or maybe in the world over, they told us that as men, you need to bottom up something, you've got to be patient and all of that. But not so many people understand what it means to be patient. Now, let's bring it to human capacity development. If you know that you have anger issues, for example, you already recognize the fact that, yes, it is anger issues that is my problem. You know that, oh, it is indecision that is my own problem or making hasty decisions that is my own problem. Regardless of whatever situation you're faced with, you already know what triggers you. You already know what makes you run out of patience. You already know what makes you not to be somebody who is patient. When you understand that word, which is patience would simply mean in my own language, deliberately building up a stress-free life for yourself <laughs> i'll say that again patience in my own words will be deliberately building a stress-free life for yourself now people will say oh life is all full of ups and downs you know um how, how am i supposed to build um a deliberately free life or stress-free life it, it, you know there's always problem there's always problem then, not they finish <laughs> and you know you begin to tell yourself all these beautiful lies but the truth be told if you're somebody who is learning to be patient when you understand what triggers you underline that word trigger there must be something that makes you happy for example there must be something that brings joy to you there must be something that makes you sad there must be something that makes you you know want to just kill everybody and you know end the world in the next five minutes they are triggers so if you understand what triggers you you begin to work on it working on yourself can never be overemphasized because that is what would help you achieve all that you have to achieve do you know that if you are not a patient person if you don't understand that patience is virtue you would not be making so much progress now impatience can also make good work look bad because when you have your character flaws of which everybody has it so we're all a work in progress that's why i'm bringing this to your notice again people would say yeah uh, he knows how to do this job boy is very arrogant he knows how to do this job but he doesn't know how to drive on his points he knows how to do the job but he's very rude he knows how to do abc but he doesn't know how to relate or communicate with his colleagues or you know those who are around him and stuff so i want to advise you today that if you must succeed in life you have to think about what triggers you what is the problem i'm faced with what makes me to just you know feel uncomfortable and makes me to want to stress myself and you know i'm not achieving all that i have planned for the day you know because patience can make you go overboard or off board you know, and you just begin to do things that you're ordinarily not supposed to do. Now, you have to be somebody who is very calculating. You have to be somebody who is very determined. 
you have to be somebody who is determined in the sense that I know my triggers. I'm going to watch out for my triggers and I understand that patience is virtue. So I will work on myself and I will build patience and I get the best out of life, which in turn I would impact others. If you build patience for yourself today and you learn to be patient, you would it's so much good in the land. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, my name again is Uluwa Chobi on Darren Day. I'm learning to also be more efficient so that things will just follow the natural sequence. And you know, I mean, I'm going to make the right decisions. So it's right time for me to go. I want to be patient with waiting for you, your comments and all of that. So I'll see you next week, Tuesday. My name again is Uluwa Chobi on Thank you for joining me. Bye guys.